Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nene B. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, I'm super stoked because finally, 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 the wait is over. I finally got the new Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And I've been waiting like, I would say I waited like a whole week for it to come. So I'm really excited to try this out with you guys test this out see what i think and if you haven't already just go ahead push that subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you can get all the updates on my video so without further ado let's just get right to this wonderful video okay so i've already pretty much did my eyes as you can see i use the tribe palette by julius place is this one right here and um it's like one of my favorite palettes i love green as many of my people know so yeah i just went ahead and um used this dark green shade of course in my crease and then went over with this shade and then put this in my crease and put this color in those you know i don't know if you can see but yeah i use that palette <laughs> i figured you know i have so many palettes but since we're talking about Juvia's Place, you know, that's what we're going to do. So this is what we've been waiting for. I got the shade 220. So originally, I did not get the right shade. I went a shade too dark. And one of the reasons why is with this specific brand, they decided to go darkest to lightest instead of the usual lightest to dark. So I'm used to picking... The very very last shades and with this brand you don't have to do that because they go from darkest to light so you might think you're probably in that range but most likely you're not so I'm usually in deep dark or deepest dark or something but yeah so this is I'm in the deep dark I guess or whatever so they're saying that this is the world's like fullest foundation so I'm going to test that out because I want to know what they mean by that. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of foundation on. So I'm just going to put that amount, even though I squeeze a little too much, and go ahead and start blending her out. Okay, so far, <laughs> she's covered, okay? <laughs> she covered all of my skin tags, every last one so far. Okay, guys, so this is me with the foundation all over my face. Let me know, in a, like, what do you guys think of this shade? Because on camera, it looks fine, but, you know, off camera, I feel like I look a little bit, a tad bit orange. Um, I'm not for sure. They said that if you're Rihanna in 470, that this was your shade. So right now, while I'm looking, like, I look like I'm okay. But we'll see, like, if it darkens or oxidizes. I'm not sure if it's going to do that. But um, this is what it looks like. It looks very nice. It's supposed to be a velvety soft matte. So it's not supposed to be matte matte, but it's not going to draw all the way down. But so far, it's looking really, really flawless. And... That's just a little bit that I put on my face. So I can only, with this foundation, you <laughs> less is more for real. Less is more. Okay, so I did also go ahead and purchase the concealer. I got it in the shade. How rude. <laughs> Anyways, I got it in the shade nine. So the concealers, <laughs> you have to guess with the concealers because they don't have anything on their website showing the undertone, so I just kind of guess. So we're going to go with nine and hope that it works. I don't know if the concealer is just as full coverage as its foundation, but we're going to just, you know, go light here and um, hope that it's not too much. So that's what we're going to do. Now, guys, usually when I do this, um, this test, I usually test out one side of my face and the other. Um, I'm a little scared, so 
I think I would have set both sides of our face, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. Like, I think it would be safe to do both sides of my face. But then if you guys really want to see how this works, I think I should just set one side. So I think that's what I will do for you guys. It's just set one side of my face, which is this side. And then the other side, I'll just leave, you know, regularly. So you guys can see, especially for my oily skin people, so you can see how this foundation will wear on you. So I'll just go ahead for you guys and just set one side of my face. Guys, and for blush, I will be using another by Juvia's. Uh, I don't know what shape this is. But I'm using this one. If you guys can see, it says Bella on the front. And this is what the inside looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and use that by Juvia's. Use their blush. Ooh, I just sprayed with the all-nighter. You know that's my spray. <laughs> and I did my lips because I didn't have any Juvia's Place lipsticks. They do have lipsticks, but I just... Don't have any, so I went in with ColourPop in the shade Astronaut. Yeah, so that's basically what I did. So I just sprayed my entire face down. Remember, one side is set, which is this side, and the other side, which is this side, is not set. So we're going to hope <laughs> for the best because I feel like the foundation went on beautifully. It looks beautiful. It looks flawless. Um... The shade was a little off for me because I feel like it's um, more of my summer shade. So when my more like warmer, like red undertones kind of come in, then I feel like it will be a perfect match. So I still haven't got my full, you know, <laughs> skin <laughs> tone and all that fully. So, um, but about that, um, yes, <laughs> can't even talk now. Uh, so I'll check back in with you guys later to see how it wears throughout the day. Um, I'll try not to blot or powder just to give this a fair shot and I will come back and tell you guys what I liked and what I didn't like so stay tuned okay guys I am back from all of my festivities from tonight um so this is what the, it's looking like this of course I think this was the side that I set and this is the side that I didn't set so I did cheat a little bit <laughs> I had to because I had to block because it was getting so bad. Um, my skin is just oily and I also feel like it was the moisturizer that I put on. So yeah, but overall, my review on this foundation right here and the concealer. <laughs> Can't forget about the concealer. Okay, so this foundation and concealer. I will say with the foundation, um, I really love the flawless finish. It was just like a, I can't even describe it. <laughs> it was so smooth, it looked beautiful. However, will I say that for my skin type, is it long wearing for me? Probably not. Um, I probably would have to bake a lot with this um, foundation. Um, soft mats for me, just period. They're, they're just, you know, for my skin type, um, I need to do a lot of, you know, blotting and powder, especially in the summertime. So this will probably be a good foundation for the winter. But um, as far as summer goes, um, can't really have it on for that long. So uh, I noticed my oil started to produce like within the third, fourth hour, I just started producing oil. So um, yeah, but overall, do I love this foundation? Yes. Um, about the concealer, um, the concealer to me is okay. Um, it's not the best, but it's definitely not um, bad. Like, I, you know, I like it. So that was all I have for you guys today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome night. Bye. <laughs>